the secret miracle in Artifices, part two of Fixiones, on March 19th, 1939, in Prague, Jaromir Hladik is arrested by the Nazis. An ambitious but unproductive writer, Hladik has written but not finished a tragedy, The Enemies. Charged with crimes simply relating to being Jewish, his execution is set for the morning of March 29th. Horrified, Hladik spends nine nights in jail awaiting his execution. He reasons things never turn out the way one imagines, so imagining his execution might be the same as preventing it. He imagines he's immortal and invulnerable so long as the 29th has not yet dawned. On the 28th, he thinks about his intellectual and literary career. He doesn't think much of his other works, essentially, and believes the enemies is his best chance of redeeming himself from his equivocal and languid past. The enemies begins with the clock striking seven. A complex plot unfolds, and at a certain point, the clock strikes seven again. The time of day has not advanced, a character in the play notices. The first speaker in the play reappears and repeats the first line. Hladik still needs to write the next two acts. Thus, he addresses God, asking for one more year in which to finish his play. Hladik falls asleep and dreams he's in a library, looking for the one book containing the letter that stands for God. Someone enters carrying an atlas. Hladik looks at a map in it and hears a voice say, the time for your work has been granted. Hladik wakes up. He's brought outside to face the firing squad. The soldiers have a casual attitude. It's 8.45, and it seems important to execute Hladik at nine on the dot. The hour arrives, the soldiers line up, the sergeant gives the command to fire. Then, the physical universe stands still. The sergeant's arm remains raised. A puff of smoke remains stationary. The soldiers don't move. A drop of water lies motionless on Hladik's cheek. Hladik wonders if he's mad or dead. After a full day of thinking, he realizes his wish has been granted. He's motionless, but he can think. In his mind, he finishes writing the enemies. He grows to love the courtyard, the barracks. As Hladik finishes the enemies, time begins again. The drop of water rolls down his cheek and the soldier's bullets strike him. The narrator adds, Hladik died on March 29th at 9.02 in the morning. Hladik, one of the more extreme idealists in Fixiones, lives for literature. The problematic practice of literature constituted his life. Indeed, Hladik lives in his mind and doesn't want to die, especially as a failed writer. However, because these intellectual deliberations are confined to Hladik's head, it's impossible to know whether his miracle really occurs. His miraculous year was telescoped into the two minutes between his wounds and his death.